This is Wavelink Universal Docking Station with a serial number or model number WL-UG63PD13 Pro. This is, of course, a product of Wavelink that we don't need a lot of words for because they've been around for so long with so many great products that I've owned way before they actually sent me this box. Yes, for full transparency, I did not pay the, for this box with my own money. They sent it to me and I thank you, Wavelink. And we're going to open it up because this box has a lot to offer. And I really mean a lot. You'll see in a moment. Okay, the wrapper is gone. And the box, of course, opens by lifting, as you see right here. I love that. Okay, so let's put this on the side. This is really a beautiful product. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite part here. When these companies do these kind of small things that mimics a disk driver, which is the driver download links that you can get right here from the back. Because of course you need to install a driver as everything else does. But this one is done with fashion. This is the booklet, the quick start guide for how to connect it for uh, Apple and for Windows or iOS, uh, Mac OS and Windows. And this is the star of the show, if I can pull it from the box. This is a really nice box, by the way. The anti-static plastic. i just take it out. Whoa, it has some weight to it. This is not a joke at all. And this is the power brick and the proper cabling, I'm assuming. But here is a power button on the very top. Really nice. And right here, you have a power input port. That is a 20 volts. This is the host or where you connect it to your computer this is the 5 gigs uh, usb 3.0 uh, usb input ports hdmi 4k or alt mode uh connector display port 2 hdmi display port 1 hdmi hdmi 4k or alt mode if your device supports it you can always uh write them and they'll let you know right away if you're device supports it or not most of the newer devices actually within a few years they all should technically support it easily then we have a display port 2 hdmi display port 1 hdmi lan and we have a kensington lock style on the bottom display port display link of course that's the uh plug and play standard for most of the uh usb to display interfaces it's been quite for a few years this way and on the back is my extremely favorite part, or I should say on the front, actually, because this part is the back and this is the front, especially if you use cameras or even from a dash camera from your car, you still need to put that uh, micro SD card or SD card somewhere. Instead of having a million adapters, they got you covered right there. Micro SD and full SD card slots right here. This is the indicator light when we turn it on. This is going to be the USB-C uh, 10 gig uh, port, 1.5 amps. This is the USB-C 10 gig port without the uh, charge support. This is the USB 3.0 5 gig uh, port and audio and microphone or headphone microphone combo jack. Really high quality material, really beautiful finish. And uh, besides that, let's get to the power cables because those matter a lot. Let me put it this way so you can see what we're talking about. And uh, in the other side, we have tools. It starts with a screwdriver. And when it starts with a screwdriver, it wins my heart. I love it because I know there's something good. Here's the brick. Here's the power. Three prong. Yep. Very easy. Normal. All laptops have had this three prong for years now. This is the power brick for this uh, docking station. And the power brick seems to be 130 watts. Whoa. Okay. Now that is uh, something. That means we have a lot of power going on here. Let me just plug this three prong. It goes just as such. And you are ready to go. And the other end just plugs right here. Now we have the... USB right here that you can connect it and lock it. Let me just show you. This is actually very interesting that I have not seen implemented 
in the recent, uh, po- uh, what do you call ports or uh, docking stations that I've seen at least the re- recent years. But this one has it and it's right here. When you plug in the uh, computer part of it that goes from here to your laptop or PC, you plug this in, there's a little tiny hole right there. Sometimes if this moves or you pull this one by mistake, it turns off everything. And what if you had transfers going on and stuff going on? Yeah, you risk to corrupt the files if you do that. In this case, they thought about that. They thought about that. Well, of course, it's Wavelink. Of course, they thought about it. But it's with a little thumb screw. You can either do it by hand. It has those uh, ridges on it. They can do by fingers or by the uh, provided, as I see right here, screwdriver. It's a, just a little flathead, but the thinking behind it is a lot that I respect. And boom, you cannot snatch this out of here. Let me actually just hold it. I don't suggest you do this, but I'm doing it just so you can see how strong this actually holds. That is secured. It's not going anywhere. Just make sure the other side stays connected to your laptop or PC and you are good to go. And I'm actually letting it just like that because yes, I'm going to use this as my daily uh, hub for my uh, computer. I have another hub, but this one definitely is going to take its place. I'm not going to give the name of the other one, but this, oh yeah, this is something else. And uh, we're going to go throw it on uh, a laptop, a PC and a tablet why not we can do that so let's go in and uh, install some drivers first because we have the links we have the quick start guide and we just gonna do that and to download the drivers i'm gonna test this on on uh, windows 10 machine but for 11 should be the same it's wavelink.com slash forward driver and we are right here so you can just search for the product and model that you have on my case I have the WL-UG63PD13-Pro and here are our drivers and just download them. It should be drivers for display link, which makes sense. Individual installer because that's what I have. I'm going for Windows and official drivers. Download, accept, and we are ready to go. And just open. Yes, when prompted, and you should be starting to install it if you in case you don't have display link graphics and in here i have them so i'm just gonna hit upgrade because this is a newer version of the software so we are good to go hit finish and you are good to go okay so excuse the mess it is part of the plan <laughs> just believe me okay so here's Wav wavelink that we just installed and the ports are here it is on as a see right there and of course the power brick is here there's too many cables this is a workshop so don't be terrorized here's the uh display you see right here that's the uh hp and this one here is a display port it's gonna be this one right here and this one right here it's another hdmi it is this display here on the very top three monitors one, two, and three. And they're all connected via this wavelength right here. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna plug in a USB really quick just to see the workability that we spoke about. That is, I guess, self-explanatory. Just right here, boom. And it just showed up right there. So we can see the USB right now. That's what we just plugged in. So let me just plug in really quick a 512 gigabyte micro SD and uh, see where that goes. Boom, that is clicked in. And here's our 512 gigs uh, card. So yeah, everything works as intended. And in my opinion, this is really, really good. And the speeds, the transfer speeds are excellent on it. But I'm not going to bore you with transferring just data because you get the point. Right now, it is connected via USB-C from back right there as we just connected it it is somewhere right back behind the computer so this computer for example it uh, supports or this pc i should say supports uh alt connections or that alt connections that is why i said make sure 
your laptop or computer supports that. What that means is that you can add a third monitor. That That's basically it. If you're connecting a PC mostly. If you're connecting a laptop, you may not need that third monitor that bad because the third monitor becomes your laptop. Plus two right here. So you're good to go. And right now we're going to connect a laptop now to these monitors. So instead of these wires, uh, instead of this USB-C going to the PC there, we're going to plug that USB-C to a laptop and uh, see how it operates on a laptop really quick. Okay, so this is an older laptop that uh, obviously does not support alt mode, but what it does is that I can connect it with a one of these USB adapters. It's just a C to USB 3.0, this one right here. It's not included with the Wavelink, but in case you have one of these, it works. And the Wavelink is on, and it is recognized right there, as you see. So on the back right here, I'm going to put, sorry, I'm going to put one HDMI and one uh, display port. Because it goes either or in these two, except for the uh, alt, but we cannot have alt on this laptop. And that's a perfect case to show you that. So we'll put the display port right here, and we will go with the HDMI right here. And now we should be good to go on these two. As you see, we connected that one and this one and it is working perfect so on this one now i don't need the adapter is it has the port with a output display data and power and all that good stuff and i'm just gonna plug it real quick boom just like that the screen doesn't work on it yeah tell me about it the uh thing is on here and let me just plug in the this place real quick okay we are about to finish plugging them all in and just like that this thingy right here is connected but you don't see display here and in a very interesting fashion all the monitors work on it no problem well as you see i don't have anything installed on it because i don't really use it that much but it works and yes this docking station does its job and that is really amazing to see that actually I can give kind of a new life to this old thingy right here. So it just, it's amazing how much this docking station can do. And as you see, it is the same thing for, uh, excuse my, these oscillations are because of my phone, but it's basically the same thing. You go to the drivers, select the UG63 PD13 Pro. It will take you to this page. Then on this page, choose whichever uh, Mac OS version you have. Click accept. It will open the DMG file right here. Double click it, and then you will be to the installation page, just like you see right here and uh, just continue agree and i will leave it on the default enter the password for your machine and it will just continue doing the stuff and it is installed after the install you'll have to restart and you should be good to go and on linux or ubuntu I'm running Mint right here. It's almost the same thing when you're here. Just select the proper device right here. It'll take you to this page. Hit accept when you find the uh, Ubuntu right here. And just choose the official. When you go here, go down a little bit. It will give you this one right here. Download it. And the downloaded files will be right here. These two. And uh, first... Hit this one, dot run. And when it starts running, you will see this window right here. And just wait till it uh, fully loads and installs. But of course, depending on the computer you have, this may or may not work. And as I said, you can always contact uh, Wavelink to let you know if your computer is compatible. But this computer has the uh, dual graphics and all that so this one of course is going to work as you see i have nvidia on demand nvidia performance uh, but right now i'm running on intel power saving mode and i can go to mesa intel and there, there's a lot of mods that have been to this laptop but basically it is compatible with uh ubuntu as well just as long as you know what you're doing obviously because these things are not always as smooth as you think especially when we're talking about linux but if you're a linux user 
you probably know better than me what you're doing. And uh, with that said, I think this machine is probably the best that money can buy when it comes to ports and displays and all that cool stuff. Absolutely amazing machine. With all the ports that it has and the other ports in the back and displays and the build quality and all that definitely makes this machine one of the more desirable ones in my opinion. Whether you have a laptop, you have a PC or whatnot, it is just one of those things that I highly suggest you grab yourself one. Yes, you will love it and you will thank me. I'm telling you right now, you will thank me. Again, thank you Wavelink for sending it over and I really appreciate it.